Nah, what you mean the 10? 10% and the 10, what you mean? 10% uh, of your arm, but then you said that that's not mentioned. Yeah, in the Bible, okay, 10% is not, but then it said one tenth. So, what we're asking, because they're so hung up on that, what are the, what are the difference in the 10% and the 10th? Nah, in the Old Testament times, right? Yeah, I'm saying where I'm going at with it now. 10% and 10th. Listen to this. We're doing it in, uh, we're doing it in, in, in them. So you pay time? Yeah. Okay, I understand what's, what, what, what we're going over. In the Old Testament, because that's what Titus found there, right? Mm -hmm. It's only for the Levites, according to the Bible. Right. It's not, it has nothing to do with your money. Mm -hmm. It has to do with the uh, the things that they were supposed to bring to the Levites, right. but they were doing the sacrifices right. for that's the right. nation that's of Israel. Right. That's right. Right? You finna read. Deuteronomy 14, verse 22, right? Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 22. Yeah. Thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed. Of the seed, not, not the money. Seed. Of the seed, right? That the field bring it forth year by year. So what the field bring forth tomatoes, corn, carrots, yeah. lettuce. Right. See what I'm saying? These yeah. things. So you don't got no corn and tomatoes and all the other stuff. So what you what you bring in? We don't tie it no more because tie was for the Levites was and they was tied for uh the sacrifice. Bring it up. You see what I'm saying? We had a temple that we had to maintain and right. they was the they was they, that was their office. Okay. They maintained the temple. Today we don't do sacrifices, we don't have to tithe no more. You see, we give alms. You heard of that book? That's what we do. We give alms. You gotta uh, read the rest. Yeah, read the rest. And thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God in the place which he shall choose to place his name there. The tithe of thy corn, of thy wine, and of thine oil, and the first leagues of thy herds, and of thy flocks, that thou mayest learn to fear the Lord thy God always. Give me Toby 12 and 8. All this is what we give to for the support of our nation. Right? Because, like you say, we don't have corn, we can't give these things like that willingly today. But we do give arms. Like everybody out here give arms to the nation. Wait, 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 okay. Wait, wait, okay, when you say one tenth. Okay, so they were doing that in one tenth. What my like one tenth meant? What 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 what, what still for one tenth? That's, that's one tip of their property, what yeah. it was able to carry to the Levites. Right. That's all it was. That's There's nothing deep. But get that. Acts 4 34. Acts chapter 4, verse 34. Neither was there any among them that lacked. For as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the prices of the things that were sold and laid them down at the apostles' feet. And distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. Distribution was made to every man according to what they needed. You see, this is on. Not Tobit 12 and 8. See what I'm saying? Tobit chapter 12, verse 8. Prayer is good with fasting and alms. Prayer is good with fasting and alms. So, yeah, it's good to pray and we must fast to fight out, to fight out certain demons that we deal with, right? Mm -hmm. But alms. You see, that's the giving of money to the nation. It don't matter what you give as long as you give something because you believe in what's being taught. Right. Right? Verse 9. For alms don't deliver from death. Right? Because all us, all us ain't got it like that. See what I'm saying? We're struggling out here. But as a nation, because Zep get Zephaniah 2 and 1, Zephaniah say, gather yourself together. Right. Gather yourself together, O nation not desire. So if all us got a little bit, we can get a lot done. You see what I'm saying? But we can't do it unless we willingly give. Don't give because, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to uh, feel good for yourself. Give because you know your brother or your sister need. You right. see what I'm saying? But it ain't just for us, it's for everybody on that side. Yes, see what I'm saying? Right. chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yay! Gather together, O nation not desired. Because we are the nation not desired. No matter where we go, they got a name for it. Yeah. Right? But we, look, God said gather together. Right? So the Cubans and the Jamaicans and the Puerto Ricans and the Haitians, we got to come together under one bounty, which is the Bible. That's right. Come back to keeping God's commandments and stop being mis, mis, mis uh, what it is. Misled. Misled out here by these people that don't have nothing to do with the Bible and have no understanding of it. Right. Right? That's true. You see? Now, they was going over the Sabbath day with y'all. You know how to keep the Sabbath day? <laughs> Hebrews uh, 1025.
Hebrews 10, 25. Now, the Sabbath day is Saturday. He went over the day they changed the time and the seasons, right? Because the day when you go to church, right, the people like, they go to church on Sunday, right? Right. But when you look at the phone, what day is Sunday? It's Saturday, on the, it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so forth and so on until you get to Saturday, right? So Sunday is the first day of the week, and Saturday is the seventh day of the week. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Right? That's how all calendars look, right? Oleg get Exodus first. Exodus 28. Because Daniel, Daniel said they go change the time and the season. But God say, remember the Sabbath day. Because he knew at one point in time, we knew it, but we was going to forget don't, being that we've been in captivity so many different times and misled by so many different people. We was going to forget. Right. So he said, remember that thing. And now we got to come out here and reteach our people so they can stop going in there and sacrificing their life on the Sabbath day. Because if you don't repent from buying and selling on the Sabbath or doing anything else that's against God's Bible, you know what I'm saying? You will be put to death when he comes back, when Christ comes back. The goal is to save the spirit. Okay, so this is why Friday, people start working on Friday, right? Friday night. Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon, yeah. So then, what you're saying here, they start working on a Friday. Sunday, I mean Saturday was the day of worship. Friday night, sundown to Saturday, sundown. Saturday, 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 yes sir. Saturday, and, and Monday, was day, Monday was the day, Monday was the day, I mean Sunday was the day that this, was back. This the beginning of the week, yes sir. Right, so there was only going to be one day. It's one day, Sabbath day is one day. I'm going to show you why. Sabbath can't be I mean, every day. I'm just, it's just a question, Carl. Huh? Yeah. See, it's a lot. It's a lot. We, we teach him, but there's so, so much in there. Yeah. It's a lot. It's, it's, Man, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's super deep, it's, but you got to. Really, really deep, and then. The thing so, it is, we know that on two days, but then what you're saying, the white man chose to make the seventh day of the sun. Yeah. Why? To keep the children of Israel in sin. Right. You see, Christopher Columbus came over here with this dude here and fought for the us. And if we didn't believe in that, they was putting us to death. Right. You see, and they, they orchestrated a church on Sunday. Right. They orchestrated this right here. Because we didn't keep God's commandments, all these things right happened. We went into slavery. We got our names took. You see, our, our mothers got raped. Our children got killed. You see, our men got castrated because we didn't keep God's commandments because they misled us. You see, because they the enemy that God speaks of. They the enemy of the nation of Israel. Read with me. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Just saying, right? From Sunday to Friday is those six days. Now, Friday sundown begins the Sabbath, all right? But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Hold on, man, man. Give me two more minutes. Let me teach y'all teach how to keep the Sabbath. All right? Get uh, Hebrews 10, 25. Hebrews 10, 25. Because it ain't no good in going to church and you're not learning nothing. Right. What we have is a school. We're an organized nation. We have a school for our people to come get learning. So we can start applying God's law so we can get out of the conditions that we're in. Like I said earlier, the reasons that we're in these conditions is because we didn't, we don't know. They took our Bible and fed it back to us, but they only gave us certain parts. It's a must that we come together as a nation of people and get ourselves together. We got to teach each other. I see you doing good. I'm going to lift you up. Hey, bro, you're doing a good job doing what you're doing. Keep doing this. I like, I like your hair wrap. Keep doing what you're doing. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's what we're supposed to be doing on the Sabbath day, going over our commandments. You see what I'm saying? See, was, I, I got to go. What y'all teaching now? Uh, it was tough. That's about the dress code. See, there was a dress code. It still there is. No more dress code. It still is a dress code. Yes, sir. There, there, was, there was a dress code. There was what men were supposed to wear. There was what ladies were supposed to wear. There's none of that. Right. None of that. None of that. But I can remember when that was being taught. Okay. I can remember when that was being taught. So what they was you learning about the dress code? Okay. Same thing right there. Ladies should not women should not wear nothing the same to me. Right. They don't you notice uh, you you know what you gotta do is visit. I mean you probably if you have a visit, visit. Visit some of the church and see what you teach them. Then the stuff you a lot of us came out of the church. Yeah, That's why we okay. understand what we're supposed then to do. You know 
why and the reason this thing, it's like a cancer. Some places it got so bad that there's no knowledge and nobody is. Nobody and that's why we dying out here, because we don't know. Because uh, they don't know. Okay, when that came out about the bill, okay, we know about that, we know about that. I know. Right. Okay, I know we know about the bill. So we why not do it? Yeah, we know about all of that. See, and then when you get it, oh, it's so bad. It's James it's just how bad it is. It's so bad that so if you do, Go in there and yeah. try to bring that up. The only way you're gonna be, you, 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 you gotta you know why? somewhere else. That's the church. Right. We're not supposed to be involved with that because the church was set up by the Council of Churches, which was right. created by the white man to right. keep us in sin. Right. Right? Now, what we must do is hear the commandments and apply them things to get out of our situation. James chapter 1, verse 22. Bring it up. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Deceiving your own selves. Yeah, I'm coming. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. And say, be ye hearers of the word. Be doers of the word and not hearers alone. Yeah. You understand? So you know you got to stop stop shaving your face. Let the beard grow. All right. You see what I'm saying? She knows she got to put on the dress. You got to make sure she get that done. All right. All right. All yes, sir. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.